Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to use SQL command for export data as a CSV file. Let's search for the command in Google. It, ta it takes us to Microsoft page where you can find more details about SQL command. Please spend some time here to go through the definition of SQL command and uh, uh, the input options we have for the command. So check all the options here and then copy the syntax into your notepad for our editing purpose. So all these options are useful at different use case scenarios. Let's say hyphen small letter a packet size is used when uh, we have huge amount of uh, data uh, for export and hyphen B is used when we want to terminate the bad job if there is an error and hyphen capital letter C is for server certificate uh, trust and hyphen D is for uh, database name pass and hyphen capital letter E is for trusted connection um, hyphen G is for uh, enable column encryption hyphen H is for rows per header to skip and hyphen I is for input file and hyphen J is for uh, or error messages printing purpose. Uh, like that we have many options. All these options will be useful at different use case scenarios. Please spend some time here to go through each and every option and uh, select the options that you need. So I'm choosing only the options that I required for my task. Hyphen O is for fi output file path. And if you want to use SQL Server authentication, then use hyphen U for username and hyphen P for password. And hyphen small letter S is for column separator, like, uh, like a delimiter. So if you want to export the data as a comma separator, then you need to specify hyphen small letter S and then comma in double quotes. And if you want a tab delimited, then you need to specify uh, hyph slash T in the double quotes. And hyphen capital letter S is for server name. Hyphen small letter T is for query timeout. So if your query is taking more time uh, to give the result, then you need to mention the time you need for that query timeout. So and hyphen capital letter W is for remove trailing spaces in the data. So these are the options that I need for my task. So I'm ready with the SQL command syntax now. So let's uh, prepare the script for my task now. So I'm gonna copy my values into uh, the options here. So I, I want to use the database name as WWI underscore DW that means wide world importers or data warehouse database which is a SQL Server sample 2016 sample. I'm using comma as a column delimiter and I'm using because my server name is localhost I'm using localhost here. And I would like to use query timeout as uh, three minutes, 180 seconds. And then I'm gonna specify my output file path. So I would like to use my uh, D drive data extracts folder. Sorry, F drive. I want to run this as a direct command instead of passing as a file as input. The syntax must be formed as a single line. It should not have any new line characters. So I will trim the query as a single line.
So my query is ready now. So I will copy the query to SQL command. Now let's try to execute the script using command prompt and see what happens. Let's open command prompt by searching in Windows search bar as CMD and click on the command prompt. Now copy the script into here and see what happens. So it is showing some error, right? Because the script wasn't formed as a single line. Let's make it as a single line and run again. The whole script must be formed as a single line if you would if you want to execute that using SQL command in command prompt. Now let's run again and uh, because the system cannot find the path specified so this is an output file path so let's go to output file path option hyphen o and check why is the error if you notice we have used a folder path here instead of a file path so modify as file path and run again. This time script executed successfully. So as a developer, we must be very careful and be conscious at each letter and word when you prepare a script otherwise we end up with errors like this now validate the output files data and format whether it's matching as per our expectation or not if you notice file format is not as we expected as it is showing a borderline for header and rows affected count at the end So let's try to resolve the issue. I'm showing all these steps to you because this is the way we actually follow in real time. When we are doing a task for the first time, we will not know what options we have to use to get the final result. So we used to make many changes to the initial script that we prepared and finally we reached there. So with experience, we get to know all this. And when we are doing the task for second time, then we will use these options directly so i suggest i recommend you to follow this way when you are doing practice so that you will know what options you have to use rather following the direct uh, final script try to prepare the script step by step and try to learn all the basic commands at initial stage
So now go back to query and execute again. So if you notice in messages, it is showing rows affected message. Right? So in order to get rid of this message, we can use set no count on in front of the actual query. So there is no gap between uh, no count on. So we should have a gap, one space gap between no count and on. So let's use set no count on in front of the query and execute the command again using command prompt. Let's copy that into the command first. And copy the whole script into command prompt now. Paste here and execute. So use option hyphen h minus one in the SQL command to ignore the header of the extract. Use custom header line in front of the actual query. Modify the query accordingly and run again. It should now give the output file as we expected. Modify the query accordingly and run again. It should now give the output file as we expected. Congratulations. We are now done with the export of data using SQL command utility.